Next, we will construct the general IV regression model. So here, I will introduce you to four variables. The first one is the Y. So this is the dependent variable. So there only one dependent variable. Second is the X. So this is the problematic endogenous variables. So assume there are K, K number of X, while W is some included exogenous variable, while there are R numbers of that. Finally, Z is the instrumental variables, and there are M, M instrumental variables. So we can construct a regression model with respect to this form. Y i equal to beta zero plus beta one x one i plus up to beta k x k i, then plus beta k plus one the included exogenous variables. Then plus up to beta k plus r w r i, then plus the error terms. So you have three cases. Okay, so first is M equal to K. That means the number of instruments equal to the number of uh, endogenous variables. So we call this, we call the model exactly identified. So if M is greater than K, that means the number of IV is higher than the number of dependent variables, the, the exogenous variables. We call this over identified. While if M is less than K, we call this situation under identified. Okay, so we have finished discuss the the IV and the endogenous variables. So how so what is the exogenous variables? So the exog include exogenous exogenous variables is just simply some extra variables that is with the property that the EUI given WI is equal to zero. So these are the property of W. So if the W expected value of U given that W is not zero, so we can replace the W by X and we need to add one more IV incorporating with this. Okay. So actually the general IV it requires the, the two stage least square will become first yi is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xi plus beta 2 w 1 i plus beta 3 w 2 i plus dot 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 up to beta 1 plus r w r i plus u i. So just assume there are only one problematic endogenous variables. And you need to add in the multiple regression, you need to add the exogenous variables. So assume they are okay. So the first stage to be xi equal to some pi 0 plus pi 1 v 1i plus pi 2 v 2i plus dot 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 up to pi n v n i. So other than that, you still need to add order included exogenous variable so you need to add pi m plus 1 w 1 i plus pi m plus 2 w 2 i plus dot 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 up to pi m plus r w r i plus v i okay so this are uh, just used to test whether the co correlation between the w and x whether they are correlated or not <clears throat> so this so this can avoid the uh, perfect multicollinearities problems. Okay. So next we will talk about the validity of the instruments, whether the instrument is good or bad. So you need to check two things. The first one is the instrument relevance. So basically, you are testing whether the covariance of Z 
So you are going to test these properties, whether they are equal to non-zero. So other than non-zero, you still have to avoid one case. The case is that, okay, sometimes if the covariance between z and x is too small, say just 0, 0 0.0 something, and we will call these weak instruments. So, uh, weak instruments. So weak instruments means that the, the covariance between the instruments and the problematic variables is very small, extremely small. So what is the problem? So this is the estimated beta 1 hat, and this is equal to the sample covariance between z and y divided by <coughs> sample covariance of z and x. So it, the probability limit will become covariance between z and y derived by covariance of z and x. So if the covariance between z and x is very small, say let's take to the limit, equal to zero, okay? That means the denominator will go to zero. As a result, the beta one will be not consistent with this beta one hat, okay? So let's take away the these situations. So let's consider the case that whether the covariance between z and w is not, not equal to zero. So how can you test it? So you can test by the F test. Since this is the first day things because x is a you are regretting x as a function of z. So we have this is the first stage least squared. So we name this first stage F test. Okay. So you need to test whether pi 1i equal to pi 2i equal to dot 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 equal to all the pi m i is equal to 0. So this is the joint hypothesis. Then you need to use the F test. Okay. So you need to see whether this pi is statistically different from 0. So if, you, if they are statistically sufficient to reject this now hypothesis, then your uh, your uh, instrument should be okay. And in particular, so if there only one regressor in the second stage, if the f value is greater than ten, that means all the z are not the weak instruments. Okay. So this is the rule of thumb. Okay. So what is the solution if we find the weak instruments okay so you may find you may f eventually need to find a stronger instruments well if you cannot you have to discard the two stage least square well, it is the case if you have the exact ident identified or the under identified. So in over identified case, of course, you discuss some instruments and you still have sufficient instrument, that is okay. But in the exact identified or the under identified, if the in number of instruments is smaller or, the, or, okay, or in other words, the number of strong instruments is less than the problematic endogenous variables, you have to discuss this method you need to use other method okay so this is the first test so the next we need to check the instruments exogeneity in particular we are testing whether the covariance between the z and u are actually equal to zero okay so you need to remember one thing, so if this is exact identify or under identify, so you cannot do any test. Because actually, the testing is required that which instrument is better or not. Okay, so say you are given this. Regression, you have one regressor. Why you are given two instruments? Okay. So here this is I this is um this is 
exact identify because you are given one instrument to deal with these regressions. Excuse me, this is uh, over identify because you have two instruments to deal with this X. Then you can test, okay, you can put test whether this which instrument is stronger. Then you can discuss the weaker instruments. But however, if you only give it one IV, which is exact identify, so you have no way to compare. You don't know which is bad, which which instrument is better and which instrument is worse. Okay, so you can only do test when you have over identified case. So, okay, let's talk about how to test it. So actually, you are testing whether the error term is a function. of the instruments so you are doing the t the f test about this okay also you, you are going to you need to add all the included exogenous variables add up to delta m plus r w r i then plus the error terms so you are going to test Okay, where the beta, the delta 1 equal to delta 2 equal to dot 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 equal delta m. So all the instruments, whether they're equal to 0. Again, you are using the F test. And in particular, in order to test the instrument exogenarity, you are using the so called J test. So this is equal to the value of m times F. So you calculate the F statistics, then you multiply by the M, then you find the J value. So M is the number of instrumental variables. So after that, this, this J statistic follows the chi-square distribution with degree of freedom M minus K. Okay, then you take a look of the chi-square table. Then you can see whether the, the instru instrument exogenity is satisfied or not.